Hi there, so in this video I want to look at the south versus east uh, panels but in the winter time. Now I previously did a video of south versus east panels in the summertime when it was a really good day like 30 kilowatt hours but a few people commented and said well how about in the winter time? Yeah, brilliant, I'll do that. So what I'm going to look at first is I'm going to look at a day where there was hardly any sun at all. We only generated one kilowatt hour and that was when it was dark all day and raining in November. And then another day in November, which was a pretty good day in comparison, 10 kilowatt hours. And we'll see what the panels did and how they performed on the south side versus my ones on the east side going throughout the day. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels. Uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and 4 on the east, and a solar edge 4 kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the 3 kilowatt AC inverter and the 8 kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then, of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs, such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Hub, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So the bad day to start off with is going to be the 21st of November 2022. As you can see on this day, the production was very low. It was just over one kilowatt hour. That is very bad. Um, it was a day where it was basically raining all day long and very, very dark with it. Um, as you can see from the day itself, in the winter time, just giving you a brief overview of what winter is like compared to summer, Normally, we'd start producing at 6 a.m. in the summer and probably finish uh, production about 7 p.m. But the days are so much shorter in the winter. The sun is lower. It even sort of hides behind the trees for me a little bit in the uh, winter as well. So there's nothing coming through at 7.30. Really, we're not kind of really getting kind of anything, you know, useful um, on this day anyway, until kind of 9 o'clock there where we're seeing 200 watts. Uh, which is not a bad output. So I would say from kind of 9 a.m. in the winter time all the way through till, uh, in this respect, I mean, this was such a bad day, wasn't it? Um, I would say normally 3 p.m. is the kind of uh, time when you think you're going to lose most of your uh, power, as I'll show you next on the better day in the winter. But as I say, this was a really, really bad day. So we didn't really get above much above 300 um, watts there at midday. So that's how bad it was. So let's just go now and have a look at the panels on the south and the east side. And let's just look at those values during that day. Right, so here we have the panels on the south side at the bottom here and the four panels that I have on the east side on the right hand side here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this through the time. So we'll just jump back to, well this is 6.15 in the morning and nothing as you'd expect. And then 7.15. Get this on the hour. Right, so this is 7 a.m., nothing at all. We jump an hour, then we see four watts across the south. And as you can see, four watts on the east as well. And then if we jump to 9 a.m., where we're getting the 200 watts, 16 watts on each panel, roughly on the south. 10 o'clock, 13 on the south. 11 17 and 17 so they're pretty much similar now and 12 o'clock 24 and 25 1 o'clock 15 and 16 2 o'clock 6 and 6 i mean this is uh the lights coming and going here really and then three o'clock there's really nothing uh, coming through here at all but if we kind of just pop back to 12 o'clock you can see there that they're pretty similar really in what they're getting in the winter time on a really really bad day so now we have a reasonably good day in the winter uh, and it was just the day or so before the 20th of november 2022 when we generated 
system production was 10 kilowatt hours. So a lot better than one. Um, as you can see here in the morning, as I talked about sort of 9 a.m. starting, 170 uh, at 9 a.m. So that's when it kind of everything started on this day. And then it kind of finished at about 3 p.m. when we had 140 watts. And then the sun just really disappeared from us. Uh, peaks around kind of mid morning, 10.30, like three kilowatts. Um, and then around lunchtime, a peak again of three kilowatts and then just kind of fading away kind of after that. So let's now have a look what that looks like during the day on the south and east panels. Right, so we're starting again at 7 a.m. with no production at all. And if I jump along an hour, you can see we're starting to get a little bit coming through um, a few watts on each of the panels. And then 9 a.m. is when we're on 206 watts. And you can see there that the south is on kind of 15, 16, and the east is kind of on 15, 16. Jumping to 10 a.m., 110 watts on the south and 70 on the east. 11 a.m., 70 on the south and around 60 on the east. And at midday, then we get a really good bit of sun. So we're getting kind of 250 on the south and just 100 on the east. An hour later, as you can see there, the south is really doing well now at one o'clock. Uh, it's getting... 200 watts whereas the uh, east is gone really at 45 watts that's quite a big difference actually i didn't think there would be that much difference between the panels um on this kind of uh, day but let's move on and see what happens in the next two hours before the sun sort of disappears uh, two o'clock we're back down to 80 uh, on the south and about 18 on the east and the sun's really going to have gone now um, and it's just light, 13 watts and 8 kind of watts on the east. So the biggest difference there really was kind of around this lunchtime period uh, when it was obviously sunny um, and we, you know, there was a big difference. The south was getting loads, but the east was not. Um, but you'd expect it. I mean, the sun would be right round the back by, by here and quite low, even if it's one o'clock. Um, the Easts won't be getting too much. But then again, if you had probably some on the East and West and you had a split, then hopefully your kind of Wests would be picking up um, a lot of the sun. Right, so showing you a really bad one kilowatt hour day and then showing you a 10 kilowatt hour day, uh, which the 10 kilowatt hour day wasn't perfect, but I believe this 14.69 kilowatt hour day is near enough perfect for winter. As you can see from the slightly curved um, bell curve here, it's probably as good as I'll ever get probably um, in winter. Now, it starts off at 8.15 in the morning with 200 watts, and then it goes straight up uh, 10 a.m., 2 kilowatts, and then it peaks at 11.30 a.m. at 3, uh, and then starts coming down. So at two o'clock, we've got around two kilowatts Then three o'clock, 800 watts. And then back down to 330, uh, 100, just over 100 watts. So you can see from that day in the winter that it is a kind of eight till, well, I say eight, eight, nine till 3 p.m. kind of day for the whole day. So let's just go and have a look and see how the panels handled that. And this is 7 a.m. with nothing coming through. And then 8 a.m. we've got 10 watts on the south and about 15 on the east. At 9 o'clock, 37. Um, oh, very varied on the south, actually. It varies from sort of 31 all the way up to 52 on the end there on the south. And then very varied on the east as well, up to 80 and as low as 42 on the east at 9 a.m. 10 o'clock, 200 on the south, um, and only 60 on the east, which seems low. 11 a.m., 
Again, 250 on the south, 150 on the east. And then noon, 260 on the south and 100 on the east. And we're starting to come down here already, as you can tell. One o'clock, then 250 on the south and 40 on the east. 200 on the south, 15 on the east. And then we're really finishing the day off now with the 90 on the south and 7 or 8 on the east. So it does seem to me like in winter time there is more of a difference uh, on the panels, on the south and east panels, than we seem to be getting on the uh, in the summertime, that is. So uh, if you want to have a look at the summertime uh, values, then please check out the other video. Great, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that video, uh, just kind of demonstrating what the south versus the east panels would be like for you in the winter on a relatively good day in the winter and a relatively very, very bad day in the winter. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe. Uh, please like the video if you did, and I'll speak to you soon.